Mindy, I'll be eating this. I don't know about you guys, but when I order my food from store-bought companies, I usually don't anticipate unusual and unappetizing cooking methods for a meal, aka when I buy fast food, I don't expect it to be really gross. It's Andy here from What's Trending. Lately, a few followers on TikTok have noticed some really interesting encounters with various food items, but we're here to tell you all about those adventures, those videos, and how you can potentially avoid them if you find them really gross. In this first video, TikTok user Cami Justice captured what appears to be the food item known as cinnamon twist. Yeah, that thing at Taco Bell you get when you're like seven because you think it's a candy, and as an adult, you don't really get it that often. The video caught nearly 15 million views on TikTok along with nearly 2 million likes at the time of this recording. At first, you'll notice the user claims that the cinnamon twists were made from Taco Bell and are made from dried noodles, you know, the ones you buy from the store. As it turns out, they're not actually made from dried pasta noodles, but rather dried chicharrones, an ingredient used to make food items like churros you get at Costco, which means that many people can actually make their own cinnamon twists at home. First, we're gonna take the regular rotini, show you that this does not work. You can't use regular rotini, drop it in the hot oil gonna bubble. Next we'll do Taco Bell twist noodles. We'll drop them in the oil and you can see they'll start to immediately puff up because they're a mixture of rice, wheat, and corn. So regular rotini noodle, burnt, not puffed. Taco Bell cinnamon twist noodle, puffed up. Now if you think Taco Bell was interesting, wait till you notice what Chick-fil-A has brought to the table this time. I mean like the, the Christian chicken really brought something. TikTok user I Eat Perks posted this viral video of what the process of making the chicken noodle soup at Chick-fil-A is really like. It turns out the user's attempt of exposing Chick-fil-A didn't capture the reaction they were looking for or expecting from the media. With over 450,000 views and 15,000 likes, you got a lot of sarcastic and funny comments of viewers who just were not impressed. OMG, they're putting chicken in the chicken soup? One person sarcastically said. Another person said, well, yeah, what else are they going to make chicken soup with? Tuna? And I feel like that's a dig at Subway because do they even find tuna in their subs? Working 12 to 5. I got called in again today. I don't really want to be here, like, at all. Someone please save me. I don't want to work. I'd rather be home and sleeping. Anyway. At first, some viewers weren't so gobbled up by this discovery, if you get what I mean. Although one commenter wanted to address that maybe the point of the video was that the chicken was very old, followed up with another commenter from the creator agreeing to that actual said statement. So yeah, like, I don't know what you expected, it's chicken and chicken soup. But Taco Bell and Chick-fil-A aren't the only ones under fire from their food items. Wendy's, being the newest fast food company, has also been exposed for some of its most recent food procedures. The video posted by Wendy's Exposed has captured some pretty bizarre meat qualities used for their chili. Yeah, the chili that a lot of people ate, including my grandma. Although what some viewers didn't become exposed to was the reality behind the cooking methods that are used to make the chili. Many comments address the fact that many other fast food companies perform similar methods to cook their items as well, and that is important to not waste such food products. But all in all, what do you think about these fast food discoveries, quote unquote? I mean, they've also been around for a while, but have your opinions been changed by any of them? Do you think you still want these foods? Or have you even thought about changing up your food routines? It's Andy here signing off. I'll probably still eat Taco Bell, but who knows what you're going to eat. I definitely will have some bean burritos because that's the most appealing thing. Anyway, we'll see you very soon.